Hi, it's Terry Aarons. Welcome to Get Up and Get Jay Moving. On today's Fitness Extra, we're gonna look at ways for you to create a perfect setup for your spin bike. Let's get started. Before we get started with bike setup, I'd like to review the components of a spin bike. We'll start at the top. You have a computer and also an area for water bottles. Second of all, you have an adjustable handlebar, which also has a fore and aft, which means that this dial right here allows you to either drive the handlebars outward or drive them back in. Next, you have a brake and also your resistance knob. So this is the brake and the resistance knob. If you turn it to the right, it increases the resistance. It tells the story if you're in the hills. And if you turn it to the left, it decreases the resistance and it tells your story as if you're on a flat road. So there's two parts to that, either hills or flats, anytime you're on a spin bike. Next, we have the seat. Along with the seat comes the seat post, which is this piece right here. The seat post determines how high or how low you are while riding the bike. And finally, you have the fore and aft of the seat, which pushes out or pushes in, like the handlebar fore and aft, and determines how close or how far away you should be from the center of the bike. Okay, so let's check to be sure that our seat post is correct. I'm gonna straddle the bike and I'm gonna go ahead and sit the larger part of my rear end on the largest part of the saddle. You wanna make sure the two match. Then to check the uh, seat post, what we wanna do is take the crank arms, and these are your crank arms. We want those at a 12 and six angle, which is straight up and down as what I'm showing you here. My heel is on the flip side of the pedal, and what I'm looking for is with the straight leg that there's a 25 to 35 degree bend in my knee, okay? As you can see here, the seat post is correct. Now that we have the correct seat post, the next step will be to determine how close or how far away we want to ride from the center of the bike. We will look at the seat fore and aft position. So first I'm gonna straddle the bike. It's always good to straddle the bike so that you're safely going to enter onto the bike. The next thing I'm going to do is find the seat and drive my rear end back to the largest part of the saddle, connecting with the largest part of my rear end. Third thing I'm gonna do is place my heel on the flip side of the pedal just to determine that um, you know my seat post is correct, which we've already established that it is. So the next thing we're going to do basically is put, my, put your foot in. You want to put your foot into the toe cage like you're really going to ride. And then from here, pedal one leg forward and have your crank arms now at a three and nine position. At this three and nine position, you're going to drop a plumb line from the front of the knee and that plumb line should dissect or connect right over the pedal spindle. So you'll see in my positioning here, my fore and aft is a little too far back. I'm behind the plumb line. So what I'm gonna do to fix it is safely, once again, straddle down, get off the bike. I'm gonna loosen the pop pin back here at the fore and aft, and I'm gonna just basically slide the fore and aft piece of the bike forward. And I'm um, gonna tighten it back up. Let's check it again. So this time, hopefully, all is good. Back to the three and nine position of the crank arms, holding on to the bike, and basically I'm just looking down to see that my knee is intersecting over that big pedal spindle, which you'll see this time it's corrected. So this would be the proper fore and aft position for riding the bike. The third part of the spin bike setup is determining how high or how low you would like your handlebars. So if you are brand new to spinning, or you're also in that special populations category 
a lot of times you'll ride with the handlebars higher than the saddle. If you are more of a veteran or a weekend warrior and uh, you come to spinning often, the majority of folks are gonna ride with the handlebars even with the saddle. And the third option is if you love your road bike, you're gonna drop your handlebars as low as they'll go uh, so that you really feel that road bike vibe. Finding that perfect spin bike setup will allow you to have an amazing and safe spin experience. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Until then, spin on.